Carl Fleming's Travel Adventures. Go get your passport. What's up, folks? This is Carlton with Carlton's Travel Adventure, another beautiful day in Medellin. So I just came back today from my trip to Cartagena. Let's talk about it a little bit, okay? I'm going to drop one video about it, and I hope you all saw it. And let's talk about uh, whether I success, had a successful trip or not. Well, I had a great time. Uh, discovered some really nice, uh, met some really nice guys, fishermen, showed me some pictures. I'm excited about going there and fish, man. These guys, about a block from where I was staying, we had the, the bay side. The guys were there fishing, man. A lot of rods out there. We talk and they show me pictures. So, yeah, it's legit. You get big tarp in there. You can get big, uh, you know, pargos there. You get a lot of snook there or, um, you know, robalo. So, yeah, fishing is good. Just depends on the night. And we, when we retired, man, you know, I spent all night out there, man, sleeping in the daytime. You know, I got to do my forex too, but I'll find some time to stay out there and fish. So I'm getting excited about fishing. I can't find somewhere to stay. You know, there's one brother, a Colombian guy from uh, Miami, been talking to me about his spot, about his spot. He showed me pictures of his spot, and I saw furniture that looks pretty nice. You know, I go there, and it's empty, and it's in disarray. I mean, that was the kind of deceptive, you know. It's an old picture. The place is just not in good condition at all. I wouldn't have shown it. The person that had been in real estate before, I wouldn't have shown it. And I told him that. Why do you show it? You know, well, I see the, saw the location, but the building is like 2008. And he keeps saying it's one of the exclusive buildings. It's an old building. It's all falling apart outside. The paint on the balcony there. And inside is in disarray. It really need a lot of work, okay? I told him you should have fixed it up before you show it, you know. You can't just look at something and make an offer on something without knowing if it's fixed. The stove is messed up, it's torn apart, you know. It's just need a paint job, no furniture in there, the cabinets are torn up, and you can't show a, a property like that. So let's move on. He's going to fix it, and I'll see what it looks like after that. The spot I was staying in, oh, nice. Three-year-old building, three, four-year-old building, beautiful, 35 stories. And small apartments, only one uh, bedroom, but it's, you see it, it's pretty, it's nice, convenient. One block from the, the bay, beautiful. Try to get the guy to give it to me long term, he said no, because he stays here sometime. The family comes and stays here sometimes. And he, wants, he has, also has it booked for some spots in January. They keep telling me January is still a peak season until January 21st. So see what happens. If they institute that 14 day lockdown, ain't no peak season happening, like I told some of these realtors. At least I got some contact for realtors, and I can keep looking until January. Okay? Welcome to Carlton's Travel Adventures, another beautiful day in Cartagena. I knew most of you guys don't get it. If you're used to going up around the ocean, you know, or living on a lake all your life, man, you miss this stuff, man. I've been in Medellin so long, I miss this stuff. Just get, get up early in the morning, go walking along, along the uh, water here, like I did in Biscayne Bay. Down in Miami, it's just, it's just, you don't get it unless you're used to doing it, man. And you miss it so much. Look at that. That's just beautiful, man. So, you know, I want to get back here, baby. Look at this stuff, man. I don't, I'm not crazy about all the buildings, but got to have that water, baby. Got to have that water. What's up? Let's tell you some more about uh, Cartagena in case you don't know much about Cartagena. So, big problem in Cartagena, it floods, man. And you know what, October, November is a rainy season. And man, a little rain and it floods. That's a big problem for Cartagena, right? So if you're gonna go there, realize that. So check this out, man. It rained a little bit. I mean, about an hour. It's not like it's raining for two days, like an hour. And the street right below my apartment there flooded. You know, I went walking around looking for some other apartments. The guy told me about that, wanted to rent an apartment to me. And it's probably about five blocks away. Almost couldn't come back home, and I wore my new sneakers. Flooded, flooded easily, easily. That's bad. But it's on the rainy season, so you know I gotta live with it, right? If you go there, realize that. Man, look at this place, man. Rained a little bit. Look at this flood, man. Look at all this water, fudge. 
right where I'm about to live. Might not cancel this shit. All this damn water, man. Thing is, I can't cross this thing. Man, that's a lot there too. Shit. Yes, yeah, so another thing I did, I took the boat over to one of the islands, the closest island. This is called La Bamba, something like that. Anyway, it's only about seven minutes by boat. And uh, watch out for those guys, man. So the, the boats are all by the hospital, right? And um, I walked up on it. First I passed it, walked way past it on one side of the island. Then I come back the other side of the island and I saw it. Looked upon it and asked what the first guy I saw what, what the cost was. And I always check the cost before I do anything. Guy told me 25,000 pesos over and 25,000 back. I already knew I asked the guard at the hotel or the, the, the uh, apartment what it costs. And he says 10,000, all right? So right away it was 25,000. I said, okay, I, I, I'll, I'll check back with you, right? Walked away and he said, okay, no, 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 about 15,000. I just ignored him, right? So I walked down about three, four more boats. They got this boat right here, you know, and the guy says, the right price, 10,000. You know what I mean? I was always trying to rip you off in Cartagena. Just realized that, all right? So he took me over there, but he, first he said to me, pay me the entire 20,000 now. I got nervous, like, why would I pay you 20,000 now? It, what if you don't pick me up going back? He said, no, 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 I, I'll, I'll pick you up, coming back, come back. I thought about it for a while. I said, you know what? If I give him twenty thousand, I'm probably gonna lose it. You know, probably not take me back or whatever. You know. Then I said, okay, let me just take a chance and see, as a, as a test, only ten thousand pesos. What 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 would happen? So gave him twenty thousand pesos. Went over there. I told the guys, look, um, I took a picture of the boat, so I can know the number and so forth, color. And I walked around the island for a little bit, not too long, probably about an hour, and I saw him come back. When I was a good distance away, I said, it looks like him, and he ran over there. So I ran over there, best I could, and it was him. And I said, I already paid. He said, it's okay. And he, I jumped in, he took me back. So it was, I, was, I was a little nervous at first, think he would say like, oh, I don't know you, or whatever. But that worked out great. Obviously, the other young kid was dishonest. These, these guys were, were honest. And I came back, you know, round trip, 20,000 pesos. Not much on the islands. You know, if you, if you grew up on an island, or you visit a lot of islands, you know, I live in Florida, you know, sand is sand and beach is beach. It's not like it wasn't Florida water. It's not clear, crystal clear Florida water or the island water. It's a little dirty, a little murky, you know, so probably good for fishing, but it's not, I'm not impressed with the water at all, even at the island. Somebody told me go to the island, the water's gonna be great. There's another island that's about half an hour or 45 minutes away. I forgot the name of that island. That I heard was a little better. But this island close by, Eh, wasn't impressed with the water either. I wouldn't go snorkeling. The visits are horrible, you know. But anyway, I, I got over there and saw it. Good fishing spot if I lived there. So I paid 20,000 pesos to go on a boat to the island. Hour, come back. He got me to pay the full amount right now. I said, I don't trust him. He said, now nah, you're paying for a return trip. See what happens when I come back and he told me I didn't pay yet. <laughs> See what happens.